Okay, so this is the front squat. Hopefully the sound in this video works because of the mic strapped to my head. Um, right, so there's a couple of different rack positions that you can do. Uh, the first rack position is your front squat position. So the bar is rested across your collarbones on your shoulders. Your elbows are in nice and close. And it's not even your hands or your fingers that are holding it. I don't know if you can see that there. But my hands aren't really holding that. My elbows are quite low here. So what I want to do is come up the elbows. And you'll find that the bar is resting against your neck. Now, if you don't have the mobility in your elbows, in your shoulders to get up here, what you can do is you can hold it across your chest like this. So on your shoulders, cross your, sh cross your hands across your shoulders, and the bar will rack across the chest. So basically the way I'm not holding the weight here, the weight is rested on your shoulders, so your arms shouldn't get tired holding this. Now, if you find, so the idea of this front squat as opposed to the goblet squat is that we can go heavier on this. Um, if you find that there's still room for you to improve on your goblet squat, you can stay with goblet squats and go heavier. But um, if you can, move on to your front squats um, and send me videos, of course, of your technique. Um, whatever program you're following, follow the prescribed sets, reps, and tempo rest periods. So there's your front squat. I hope that sounded good with the mic in my head.